All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah Kadash. Double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And salutations to all you brothers out there pushing this word in love, truth, sincerity, and humility. Once again, it's the brother Shatia from the Chicago camp. Coming back to you with what I hope was another quick and edifying sit down. And uh, as you can see on the screen, I have the poster shot for the movie Glass, which I had an opportunity to see yesterday after the Shabbat, of course. And this movie was great because it had a theme in the film that mirrors our struggle and our journey to a T. Because in this film, Glass, you had the Samuel L. Jackson's character, Mr. Glass, a.k.a. Elijah. His whole life's work was to let the world know that superheroes, uh, gods, men with extraordinary abilities and talents still do. And they are existing amongst us today. OK, these people who are myths and legends and men of renown and uh, uh, who are known for our famous deeds and feats, you know. They're not just a fairy tale. They're not just myths. They are real people and they just so happen to exist today. And the only reason why people don't necessarily believe that superheroes exist today is because it's been swallowed up by uh, science and philosophies and all types of lies and twist on the truth. OK, and we fast forward to the end of the film. And Mr. Glass has this idea for the final showdown between the Beast who is uh, played by James McAvoy and Bruce Willis's character, David Dunn, the overseer. And so what Samuel L. Jackson does is he hacks into the mental health facility uh, uh, video, his video feed. And what he does is he puts in some type of uh, algorithm that that video feed goes to three people it goes to his mother it goes to uh, this young woman who uh, the beast had a certain love and affinity for and to Bruce Willis's son uh, in the film I, I forgot his first name but he was Dunn Jr. okay and so after this big showdown happened and uh, after this showdown happened and everything was resolved, I, I at least won't ruin that part for you. Okay, this, this footage went to those three individuals. And they looked at it and they listened to it. And they all three decided that, you know, even though Elijah was kind of wicked as hell, you know, he did have a point and they didn't want uh, the people that they cared about. They didn't want that sacrifice to be in vain. So what they did is they took that footage and they uploaded it on the interweb and it started playing everywhere. The whole video went viral via the interweb. It started popping up on people's phones, tablets. Uh, big screen monitors, uh, 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 screens inside the train station. It was everywhere, even on major media news outlets. It was everywhere worldwide. And so Elijah, a.k.a. Mr. Glass, you know, his lifelong work was fulfilled and accomplished. You know, now the whole world knew that these superheroes, these people of, uh, of renown, that were great back in the day and and it fell off you know are now known again that they really do exist they're not a myth okay despite all the lies that have been told by by the enemy which was played by the psychiatrist named L 
it still prevailed because her whole job, uh, not only as a psychiatrist, but working for the secret organization was to monitor and track and possibly convert or kill anyone who knew that they had special abilities and gifts and knew that they were superheroes as she so eloquently put it the world cannot know that gods exist that gods exist among men the world cannot know that because it's unfair it's unfair for you all to have gifts and we don't and I say all that to say that once again that aspect of the film mimics our life and our struggle because when you read the Bible, that's the original comic book, okay? You have Samson, okay, who had the strength of a god. You had the stories and psalms of King David, where King David said he can break a bow of steel. Through the power of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, he was able to leap over walls. Okay, killing thousands of men. Okay, Yahweh Shah himself with spiritual powers, being able to heal people, resurrect the dead, walk on water, all these things. Okay, the Bible is the original comic characters with men of renown. Okay, but over time, okay, these real people and real events, just like in glass, they kind of fell by the wayside. Okay. And that's the equivalent of our being discontinued from our heritage and uh, that great falling away due to bad Uncle Esau, who is the so-called white man, okay, coming into rulership, okay, setting up his lies, his philosophy, and his witchcraft, so much so to the point where we forgot who we are, just as in the film, the superheroes forgot who they were, okay? They eventually were a thing that were that were held in high esteem to something that, oh, it's just something that's reduced to a comic book. It's a myth. It's a legend. It really don't exist. Just as it is here in the majority of the world, you know, the world as a whole at one time forgot all about the Israelites, forgot all about the, these mighty and godly men of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, who did actually did these things, okay? But now through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, okay, who left that, that light as he so promised, okay, it started off with one man, then a couple of men, all the way to the apostles, and now to us, okay? Going out on the highways and byways and preaching this word. And with the power of the internet that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai gave to us, now this thing is worldwide. So now the men of renown that people forgot about, hell, even who we forgot about, okay, we're now being made known and manifest to the world, and all the hard work and all the fruits of the truth. Is paying off and the world now knows who are the true Hebrew Israelites of the Bible the whole world knows now who are these gods among men doesn't it say in Psalms that ye are gods but you will die as men okay the whole world knows that we are not just this this myth and this legend that people twisted and it's a fairy tale no we were the men of renown of old who did mighty things. We are those men that comic book artists write and draw about. And now after falling away and being in the dark for so long, we are coming back to our regal status. And we're letting the world know that we're through the power of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. We are back. We're here to stay. Okay. And we're here to make our mark on the world once again. And that was the same thing in the film. Okay. Elijah, a.k.a. Mr. Glass, 
he now made that mark in the world to let everybody know that superheroes do exist. His lifelong work had finally came true. It was too late. You couldn't put the cat back in the bag. The whole world knew that superheroes exist. And it's the same thing with us today. And the precept that I thought about brings me to 2nd Ezra, the 6th chapter and the 28th verse. And it says, as for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall, shall be overcome. That's that lies and the wickedness and that madness that bad uncle Esau has been, who is the so-called white man, spewed upon the whole uh, 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 earth. Okay. Don't the scripture say Babylon have been a golden cup? All right. That made all the nations drunken. All right. Bad Uncle Esau had the whole world jacked up, even us, okay? But now the truth, which has been so long without fruit, okay? The truth, no, it really is that there's one God whose name is Yahweh. He has a son, Yahweh Shai, and the people that he loves, at least on, on, on this side, is, is, is the Israelites, particularly the elect and the elite of the elect, Okay, and we are the gods of the world. Okay, the gods of the universe. I mean, we are called Yasharala, princes of the power. Okay, it says the truth which has been so long without fruit shall be declared. And that's what we're doing. And that's what is soon going to be done. All right. And the reason why I say that is because we're still on the highways and the byways preaching this word. Letting the world know who we are, according to the Bible, that we are princes of the power, that we have the only power in the entire world. Everything else is nothing. All other nations are nothing. We are the only one who God loves and has an inheritance. Okay. And we know that sooner or later, most likely very soon at the way things are going, that this world is not going to be here anymore. All right. And that's that truth that's being declared right now as we speak. And it's a beautiful thing. And when I watched that film, Glass, that's exactly what I thought about the whole, almost the whole movie. Okay. This truth is finally being declared. The, 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 the myths all the lies, all of everything is totally broken down. And now the truth is flourishing and you can't put it back in the box. You know, it was a, a very beautiful film. I highly suggest you brothers watch it and, uh, you know, share your thoughts, do a response video or just let me know what you think. So with that being said, I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And salutations to all you brothers out there pushing this word in love, truth, sincerity, and humility. With that, we want to say Shalom.